Okay, so this is going to be a quick little tutorial about creating low-poly clothing or low-poly characters. Here's a very simple low-poly human type figure. Uh, let's uh, start by making it a shirt. Alright, so we're going to add a plane. Uh, get it facing the right way. So basically what we're going to do is make the uh, sewing pattern for the shirt. Uh, you can do this any way you want, but this is the way I've been doing it. It seems to work pretty well. So I'm just going to build a flat mesh, make sure you're in uh, front view, and front orthographic view that is, don't want to be in perspective mode, uh, so we'll be building this uh, planar mesh in front of the body, uh, get the basic shape happening, of what, uh, let's go a short sleeve shirt, t-shirt. Type thing. It's very simple. And now we need to add some extra mesh. So otherwise, it's not going to deform. Just using the uh, edge loop slice tool, Control R. Very handy tool that I use a lot. Neck here. Right, so, very, very basic shirt mesh. Um, and for, so this is just one side of the shirt, so we'll need the back. Shift D to duplicate. And we'll flip the edges, flip the normals. Alright, so that's our shirt. Uh, however, at the moment, it's not very good because it's just flat. We want to connect it up and make a nice 3D mesh around our model. So what we do, we want to... We're going to be using under cloth. So physics, cloth, and make it a cloth. And we're going to use these cloth sewing springs feature, uh, which I added a long time ago. Blender and haven't really used much since because I've been busy doing other things. Now, a lot of people kept asking for a better tutorial about how to use it where I'd actually speak and explain it. Uh, so, I'm going to do that now. Alright, so cloth sewing force is how much the cloth will get sewn together when we make a loose edge like this. It's going to get sewn together. So, if we go into uh, object mode and set the frame back to 1, and then I'll play it. I will turn up gravity so you can see what's going on. It's going to pull it in together like that. So we watch it frame by frame. So that loose edge is being pulled together. want to make this a collision object, so select the body mesh and go into physics, collision, uh, the default setting should be fine, so go back to frame 1, and watch this again, now it's uh, going to stop when it hits the body. Uh, this basically adjusts how fast it will happen happens a lot faster. Uh, I find that turning velocity down to zero helps a bit. Uh, stops things bouncing around too much, which can also also yeah, stops the gravity from being too effective. Uh, but all right, now that we've got that set up, we can make the rest of these edges. 
So I'll delete that one for now. There's a quick way to add these all. And delete those ones. Button. Uh, we just press space, bridge, edge loops, and then delete only faces. So that'll give us all those edges in there. And then we'll do the same here. And that should do it. So back into object mode, on frame one, play. And there we have a shirt. Once it's sewn together, you can turn velocity back up. And then it will fall the gravity. And it will jiggle a bit. But yeah, that turned out pretty nice. Can't see any big problems. You'll see these edges aren't quite connected. Uh, we're going to fix it up in a sec. Okay, so yeah, smooth shade it. Let's have a look. look. Alright, so uh, to fix up those little edges, we need to apply both of these. Uh, so if we want to edit the shape of the thing, we have to. I'll just duplicate that first and move it out of the way and hide it. And in case we want to come back to that later. Okay, apply, apply, you have to start from the top modifier. Alright, now if we go into edit mode, go into edge mode, and go loose, select loose geometry, press X, edge collapse. It's uh, merged all those loose edges together now. It no longer has a cloth modifier, so we can add that back in. Let it hang down. Um, what else can we do? We can we can add some elastic if you like. You want to make their sleeves sort of tighter. You do that. You just uh, cut, cut an extra loop in there. And face select. And select these two bits. And add a new vertex screw. A plastic. And a sign. And in physics. Come down. Turn shrinking. This controls how much it's going to max, yeah, max amount to shrink by. Um, I'll try 0.1. So 1 will shrink it entirely to nothing. So this will shrink it by 10%. Just on those areas that we selected. So they become a bit smaller now. Maybe a bit more. Let's say like 2. Do the same bottom shirt. Do it around the neck as well. We don't have a nice loop around the neck, so I need to cut. Stick it to pull in. Let's um... yeah. we have our 
shit. Mm. Alright. Looks, looks alright. The shape could probably be improved a bit, but we'd have to go back to our original mesh to get it perfect in perspective mode. Mm. Yeah, we can add materials and whatever. New material, a grey shirt with um, some lighter grey sleeves, so any elastic bits will just um, collect those. There we go. Locally shut. Alright, uh, I guess that'll do for this quick tutorial. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. If you have any problems doing this technique, yeah, ask a question. Uh, I might do some more follow-ups. Yeah, thanks very much. Enjoy.